Welcome to another episode of our show, which we're not going to tell you what it is. Um, so I, I want to start off real quick. This is eating at me. Okay. First off, are you there? <laughs> I'm, I'm here. Oh, I'm here. All right. All right. So I have heard that some people don't like putting ketchup on hot dogs. What's your thoughts on uh, that? I don't eat. I don't eat hot dogs without ketchup. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're starting out strong. <laughs> all right, is that is that all we got? <laughs> that's, that's the show. <laughs> well, another hard-hitting episode of Who's Right. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, Donate to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You got to be kidding me. This is how we're starting this shit. <laughs> Oh fuck! You All right, so so me. I got I got a question for you. I, I told you I was going to wait until we started recording before I got into this. All right. So we had a little bit of a, a rocky ending to our show last week. Um, okay. You had put something on the board, and and it, it was a uh, a reference to friends and whatever. Yes. I'm not. I'm not I don't want to explain the whole thing. If they didn't listen to it last week, fuck them. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it looks like you may have push back a little bit this week as I have nothing to attack you about because you didn't put anything on the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I, I put two things, two nothings. <laughs> you you wait, actually put wait, a screenshot. I put one thing and, and I put a screenshot of something that you sent me. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Okay, so oh, our audio—it was, was not on purpose. I promise. Uh, so it was you accidentally didn't put anything on. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally didn't contribute to the show this week. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't catch me. <laughs> oh fuck! So it, it's funny. You said you want to put this stuff in order. And I'm sitting here looking yeah. at it, and it's like, well, there's like, all my what? shit. <laughs> what stuff? <laughs> all right, my stuff's in order. Where's yours? <laughs> so what we're going to do is, is jump right into your first thing, all right? Uh-huh. Um, okay. So first off, do you, do you have anything that happened this last week that you want to talk about? Uh, all right. I go, ba- I go back to third shift this tonight, actually. <laughs> so that's all, that's all that's new in my life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's all i got <laughs> yeah i, I would have just said no then <laughs> would you would you really <laughs> all right so let, let's go ahead and get your shit knocked out of the way and then i'll just take the show over from there <laughs> so is this how it's gonna be again <laughs> you're you're making it that way just go ahead and, and black woman is god go <laughs> no. <laughs> so i found this post on a Facebook uh, somewhere. It's from Facebook. So it says, hashtag, did you know, before becoming indoctrinated, black women had have an ability to impregnate themselves without the help of anyone other than themselves. Black women can create semen in her bone marrow and secrete it out of her parts, parent, <laughs> out of her parts <laughs> through her parts, duck, duck. <laughs> I just realized it says duck, <laughs> not ducked, <laughs> directly into her vagina and impregnate herself. This process is called something. We do not come from mammals. We are not mammals. Agree to disagree, LDC. I don't know what that means. I, but just I, no- IDC, I don't care. Oh, IDC. That makes more sense. <laughs> but <laughs> just know that this is a fact. And there was a time long ago where it was just black women on the earth, which black men came from, which then create the albino. <laughs> so this goes along to me. This goes right along with your uh, when you were doing that flat earth podcast. <laughs> this is the same kind of bullshit. 
<laughs> but I think this is even worse, man. <laughs> I don't think so. I think this is more likely than Flat Earth. <laughs> I think it is more likely that black women, there was only black women on the Earth, and, uh-huh. their, and, and their bones impregnated them. <laughs> <laughs> their bones impregnated themselves. <laughs> this, I just... I had nowhere to go with this. I just, when I read this, I was like, this is the most insane thing that I've read today. I I don't understand how people can actually think this way. Do you think that this is real? Do you think this is not satire? (laughs) No, I assume this is satire. Um, Really? Yeah. It's hard to tell anymore, you know? (laughs) Right. (laughs) (laughs) Right. So I, I... when, so my my shoulders just slumped a little bit when you said I don't I didn't have anywhere to go with this I just thought and and I'm like fuck here we go again <laughs> <laughs> I said did, that for your benefit Did you not learn anything at all last week I I, I didn't or the week before or the week before that <laughs> All right so so just so just so me and all of our listeners are clear Uh huh Now everything that you had prepped for the last week we've gotten that out of the way right. Mm-hmm. All right, let me make sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you feel okay with this? Wait, no, 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 wait. I got another one. <laughs> All right. This is the screenshot that you sent me. <laughs> well, we got we got to save that for reference for later. So. All right. Okay, then. So, wait, I've got carryover from a couple weeks past that we keep pushing back and back and back. If you want to go into one of those. <laughs> I almost... I really feel like I just want to stay on on what you just talked about. <laughs> Did you just delete it? No, I moved it over. Well, oh, moved it over to your column. I got I got nothing in my column, and you're moving shit to your column. Oh no, it was supposed to go into a. a uh, your don't break down the fourth wall, bitch. <laughs> That's the only thing we got. <laughs> oh shit! There is that more better. That's more better. All right, so, so right now, <laughs> along with the uh, black women impregnating themselves, I think there's, yeah. I think there's like a march that's going on, or it just went on. <laughs> I, the government shut down. There's a women's march going on, and we're talking about <laughs> black women impregnating themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, so I love it. I had a. Uh, I don't. I don't know that I wanted to. God, fuck it. I'll play it. You. You talk about something. I got to get this shit ready. So all I've been seeing on Reddit is these signs from um, the Women's March, and it's just nonstop stupid signs from the Women's March. I'm tired of it. Stop posting that shit if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're listening. Um, yep. <laughs> so you didn't make note of any of them that, that struck your attention or got your attention or anything? Um, I did see one that said, what the fuck was it? It was all a right. white guy. It was... Whoa, whoa, all right. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm done talking. <laughs> all right. All right. So the biggest thing in this country going on right now is the women's march yeah. and the government yeah. is shut down. Um yes. so I had made a bunch of notes throughout the week on things to talk about. I got a video I'm getting ready to play on my phone in reference to the women's march and um okay. Yeah, so so maybe next time the government shuts down or there's a march with a billion fucking women out there running around screaming me too. If you yeah. see something that catches your eye, just maybe we're going to record that Sunday and you could jot it down. So so is that how this whole show is going to go? You fucking just attacking right. me? <laughs> Do you you realize that that's how last show went and that's played out, right? I'm I'm that's, not doing so, it. As, I'm not doing it so as a stick. I'm I'm moving on. Just shut up about it and and <laughs> oh, just God. just We've got your stuff out of the way. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so I I don't know if you you heard this or not. I, this is President Trump talking, and this was in in reference to the march, but it, about abortion. No, I did not. Right now, in a number of states, the laws allow a baby to be born from his or her mother's womb in the ninth month. It is wrong. It has to change. Did you hear that? They let the baby be born in the ninth month? <laughs> yes, I will I will play it again. Right now, in a number of states, the laws allow a baby to be born 
from his or her mother's womb. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I missed that. His or her. <laughs> that makes sense. <coughs> What's that? That make, I don't understand why you made a big deal about that. A baby can be a boy or a girl. Uh, but it said be aborted or born. It, it's like it cuts out every time he says it. A born, born in the ninth month. Out of his or her, what the, the way he said it didn't make any fucking sense. So what you're telling me is you don't think that Donald Trump is a good public speaker? <laughs> <laughs> I am telling you that. So I, I believe what he meant to say was right now a baby can be torn from his or her mother's womb. I think that's what he's trying to say. What he says is a baby, oh, a baby can that makes be born. Way more sense. It does, yeah. don't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes way more sense. <laughs> Donald Trump is awesome. Most states, the laws allow a baby to be born from his or her so mother's if you, womb. If you sit there, <laughs> if, if you sit there, when he's talking, he says, you know, a baby can be born. And then he goes, you know, he's thinking, God damn it, I fucked up. I had one thing to say and I fucked it up. <laughs> one right word now, makes a such a states, difference. The laws allow a baby to be born. From his or her <laughs> mother's womb. <laughs> Fucking retard. <laughs> oh, I hate man. having a president that's got Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's horrible. Uh, I'm going to read this um, message that we got. It's from a guy on Twitter. He's a, he's a fellow podcaster. His name is Grim Horror. It's at Grim Horror. Um, and so just out of the blue, I got this and, and it's kind of, it's fucking with me a little bit. I don't understand. All right. But it just says, Hey guys, just listen to the latest episode, just plain funny shit. So props for that as a Trump loving MAGA supportingly righty American millennial hating Hispanic. I'm not <laughs> sorry. <laughs> When I first read that, I thought it said millennial Hispanic. I th- I missed the hating completely. So he hates millennials and he's Hispanic. Yeah, that, I that that's I re- that's different than a millennial that hates Hispanics. <laughs> yeah, but the way it's worded, that's so fucked up. All right, as a Trump loving, MAGA supporting, righty American millennial hating Hispanic, I'm not offended by anything you guys have said. Now, as a new listener for about a month, I was recommended this pod, I guess, to anger me because they said you guys are so far left, it would make my head explode. Guess the joke's on them because I'm going to keep listening and you guys keep cracking wise. How in the fuck can we be all the way left? What? (laughs) (laughs) We're so far left. I don't I don't understand. Is it because we think everybody should be treated equally? Is that what's supposed to drive this guy crazy? (laughs) I don't, I don't get it. We only we, t- we, we only get attacked by people on the left. Yeah, I mean we we are the least politically correct. I mean, nope, I, that nope, doesn't make nope. any sense. We're, no, no, we're not the least. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so this doesn't make any sense to me because usually, if somebody hashtag MAGA. Make America great again. Anybody that uses that hashtag, I think they're usually retarded. That's that's the way I that's how I think about it. Like if you are a person that says, Yes, make America great again, I think that that you are mentally retarded. I I, I don't I mean I'm I'm not even talking about politics. I'm just saying really? I mean like, this is the guy? This is it? This is the guy you're going to stand behind? Like, I don't even care about the pussy-grabbing comments. I don't care about any of that dumb bullshit. The guy is just a fucking moron. <laughs> I mean, he makes he makes George Bush look like a genius. <laughs> well, I, I'm more focused on the fact that you actually... So we, we had a, um, a couple, more than normal amount of people reach out to us in the last week in one form yeah. or another. Um, yeah. but it, it always impresses me or makes me feel good when somebody goes out of their way to send us a message. And this guy sent it sure. uh, through email through, through the website. Yeah. So, wow. Um, you know, he, he had to do like four extra clicks just to get a hold of us, but sure. I love the fact that somebody took time out of their day to say, Hey, you guys are funny. Um, yeah. 
and then your retort to him is, I think you're fucking mentally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stand by it. I, I, I don't know what you want me to say. All right. So I, <laughs> Sorry, guy. <laughs> Keep listening, though. <laughs> I would love to know what what that means. What To this guy here, to, to Grim Horror, what does MAGA mean to you? What does Make, a, make America Great Again mean? So What the fuck does it I mean? Hear it, when, I, when I hear it, it means that at one point or another, America was great, and we need to go back to that, right? So, what point was it that America was great? When it was sl- when slavery was legal? Is that when we're what what great point we're going okay, back? Okay, so if somebody says yes, that's when America was great again, but maybe it was only because of the music. Does <laughs> does that make that, the, that, does, that, <laughs> does that make yes? Come? I'm in. That's good. <laughs> Does that make the movies at the time were just really, really great? <laughs> so, so let's say the fifties, right? I, so, the fifties was the time before the civil rights movement, right? Yes, because yeah. I, I don't that was the, that was in the sixties. I, yes, I don't so know yeah. geography very well, so <laughs> so the fifties was the time of like uh, sock hops and and. I think that's all everybody did in America was the sock hops and, and, <laughs> and drink milkshakes. Yes. But it, it's, isn't that like the time of innocence? Isn't that, isn't that when you think of the fifties, you think of like, I don't know, only a select few people are going to know what this is, but like made right diner, right? That's the fifties. Yeah. You, you think of that. Okay. So, because, so, so be, because, because you're white, you think of that. <laughs> think about the fifties. If you're black, <laughs> is it the time of innocence? <laughs> So, uh, right. Okay. So that, that's a very, that's a fair point, <laughs> but I, I don't even know when neon signs were invented or started, but in my mind, the fifties, no cause those of you who don't know what made right diner is. It's, it's a shitty greasy spoon, I guess you'd call it in the, in the, uh, Midwest. And they fancy themselves a fifties style diner with a, a jukebox that plays footloose or something. Fuck. I don't know. But they they literally just brown hamburger and put it on a bun with a pickle and that's it. I mean, there's nothing special. <laughs> but but the decor of the place is a '50s diner with the checkered floor and neon lights and sure a bunch of vintage signs hanging on the wall. So to me, that's the '50s. That's that's all I know of the '50s is the fucking made right <laughs> made right diner. <laughs> You're so cultured. <laughs> so when somebody says, "Hey, you know, what do you think of the '50s?" I think decent food and a milkshake. I, I don't. I don't think I'm getting. I don't think I'm getting sprayed with a fucking fire hose. <laughs> That's your privilege, talking, buddy. <laughs> so if somebody was to say, "Make America great again," yeah, and I mean specifically, take us back to the '50s, I'd be like, "I." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so horrible. Why is it horrible? You wouldn't like to go to a sock hop? No. <laughs> so start a sock hop now. I can't. It doesn't have to. Get all your black friends and start a sock <laughs> hop now. <laughs> you want to go back to a time where just I didn't racism say I wanted just casual, I didn't say sexism I wanted is to, casual. I didn't say I wanted to go back to a time. I said, what does MAGA mean? And if somebody says... MAGA means going back to the 50s. I would be like, cool, I get to go to a sock hop. <laughs> so not only do you not know what MAGA means, you don't even you don't even know anything about the 50s. That's just a so- I'm going to Maid Right. <laughs> what a racist piece of shit. No, don't try to spin this into something that it's not. I'm not So I'll, for the last 52 shows I've been anti-racist. Now, because I like brown hamburger, I'm a racist? <laughs> yep. <'Cause laughs> That's the only argument I've got. Because I want to do the jitterbug? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. You want to go back to a time before, like years before, no, no. You're making That's it sound like I'm... You, want. you make it sound like I'm trying to build a fucking time machine. I said, 
if somebody says, what does make America great again? And somebody else in the conversation says, you know, like back in the 50s, I would be, my first response would be, cool. I'm going to listen to Chubby Checker. <laughs> Chubby Checker. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say to that. I don't... <laughs> If somebody said "Make America Great Again," my first thought is the '90s were pretty cool. I, I, I liked the '90s. Can, can we go back to that? Oh, so that's what back when back when Friends was on. <laughs> <laughs> so that to you is the the '90s. Is, so Ice Ice Baby to you mm-hmm. is not. That's the '90s to me. If somebody says "Let's go back to the '90s," my first thought: Vanilla Ice. God, you are such a simple person. <laughs> Oh yeah, you, you the went. 50s are a sock hop, the 90s are vanilla ice. <laughs> That's that sums up everything. All right, go ahead, pick another decade. I I can fill you in on anywhere. Let's the 80s. Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> the 70s? Michael Jackson. Don't know why. I don't I, Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> the six the 60s? Diana Ross? I don't know. <laughs> You're right. That's the smartest thing you've said so far. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, man. I wasn't pre- I wasn't prepared to be peppered with these questions. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, the past week or so, I have been running around work saying uh make America great again, <laughs> chanting build the wall. <laughs> just just to fuck with some people, you know. What I what what the fuck was that? Are you, are you, are you having a stroke? <laughs> All right, so I, I guess that bit's over then. Um. <laughs> I was I was just telling you I've I, I've been by like for the past week every time I walk by Pia I'm like hey make America great again <laughs> just to, just to fuck with them. Okay. All right. Uh. <laughs> you, you fucking kill me, man. Your <laughs> your brain is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is. If uh, you could just keep up, we could have the show go smooth. <laughs> if, I, if my brain was to keep up with your brain, I would check <laughs> myself into the nut hut. So anyway, thank you. Uh, I don't know if it's Mr. Grimm or Mr. Horror or... How, how do you know it's a dude? <sighs> Fuck, I, did I just assume his gender? <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> Wait, you assumed his gender? Yes, you assumed that person's gender. Um, I'm assuming it's a, a Hispanic woman. How can somebody... is? Do you think Donald Trump is racist? Yes. Why? What proof do you have of that? Oh, I, I don't have any hard, solid proof. I just think okay, the no, things no, that no, he says... No, that's fine. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not challenging you. I didn't know yeah. if you had anything specific. I... I do you think that Donald no. Trump is a friend of Mexicans or Hispanics, I, no. I guess? No. Not at all. All right. So, Mr. Grimm, I got to ask. It, American millennial <laughs> hating Hispanic. Why Why do you want to keep your people out of this country? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even think it's a matter of keeping his people out of this country. I, I think... Donald Trump thinks that the ones that live here are bad. <laughs> you know, even the ones that are here legally, he would. I think he would be okay with sending them out. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I'm not Donald Trump, so I don't know. You know how he really thinks. I'm not a certified genius or whatever. <laughs> so, I I think it's pretty obvious that he doesn't care for Mexicans unless they're doing work for him. Then he can underpay them, or not pay them at all, <laughs> or not pay them at all. Yeah. So I mean, what? I can I don't I can I, don't, I can I understand being right leaning. I just don't understand the Trump loving MAGA supporting part of it. Right. That's and that's my problem with all of this. It's it's all an ideology. If I come out and say, "Oh, I'm proud left leaning," blah, blah that that means that everything that the left stands for is now under my umbrella. Well, fuck that. That's retarded. Just think what you think. Just well. You can be right leaning. You can be socially conservative. You can be financially conservative. You, you can be okay with so- you can be okay with a time when sock hops were were. <laughs> yes, 
<laughs> you don't. You can take out the racial connotations and be okay with a time that you feel is simpler. In all honesty, yes, I agree with that. So what you're saying is you would like to make America great again? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Fair. If if we can find a time where we all agree that it was great. During sock hops. <laughs> I don't think that that would be great. Have you ever been to a sock hop? I have not. Then you don't fucking know, do you? Us, us hillbillies don't wear socks. <laughs> Actually, I did go to a sock hop when I was in junior high. We had one. And it, really? Yeah. All it was was somebody had brought a record player into the commons area, and you had to take your shoes off. And then that was the sock hop. So, And then instantly it just stunk like hell in there. I don't know. I stayed in the corner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool all right so (laughs) that was (laughs) that was all right let's make america great again okay (laughs) so you had sent me this uh message that somebody sent us and i wanted to read it on the show i didn't know if you you did or not but anytime anybody sends us anything I, i like to acknowledge it and you know it says, hey, wanted to say I actually love your questions for a prostitute episode. There were some crazy fellow sex workers on there. No one should have taken offense to that, and and your take on it was hilarious. A lot of us legal sex workers did not see it as an insult, but rather an opportunity to answer questions. Thank you for making me laugh. You're welcome. <laughs> I wanted to acknowledge that and say you're welcome. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Fuck, you are killing me, man. <laughs> what? All I, did, all I did was read the damn thing. How am I killing you? All right, so I, I have been in contact with her. We're actually going to have her on the show. She's a, a sex worker. Sweet. Wo- she's a sex worker at not the Bunny Ranch, but it's one of Dennis Hoff's other oh. other uh, businesses, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, she's, awesome. she's going to come on the show. We're going to be able to ask her some questions about Taking cock professionally, I guess. <laughs> Taking cock professionally. <laughs> I love it. What's that's that's nice. That's good. What have have somebody with her point of view on here? So I I'm interested to know like what it's like. So I, I think it would be a, amazing to get paid if if people came to me and paid me money for me to fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how much how much would you charge how much do you think that that's worth <laughs> how much is it worth or how much would i charge because that's two different things <laughs> so would you be able to charge anything without feeling like you were ripping somebody off <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a thousand dollars an hour you owe me 25 cents <laughs> Okay, so can you imagine, like, <laughs> some girl comes to you, and she pays you, whatever, 500 bucks, and then you get around and flail on top of her for 30 seconds, <laughs> come, and then pull out, and you're like, I'm sorry. and she <laughs> uh, She's all sweaty, but it's just from my sweat dripping on her. <laughs> she says, thanks. I, you know, I, I just wanted to know what it was like to be married. <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, uh, see the kind of questions that I want to know is that uh, you're taking money for sex. What if the guy is just really really fat and disgusting like asking for a friend? I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean <laughs> I mean really disgusting. <laughs> That, I mean, that's the kind of stuff. I mean, what if he stinks? What if you take his money and you're like, yeah, let's do this, and you guys start messing around, and then and then you you get down, you know, down on him or whatever, and he stinks. Do you cut it off and give him his money back? How how would that work? Do you, like if he smells like gravy, <laughs> <laughs> or if he tastes like gravy. <laughs> God, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrible! Oh wait a minute. I, so let's see. If I was to suck a dick and it tasted like <laughs> sausage gravy, that might not be a bad thing. <laughs> you, you would be so gay. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like summer sausage. <laughs> what? 
So, okay, we, we had this conversation before, and I think you said something along the lines of it tastes like any other piece of skin, only saltier. <laughs> right. Um, so, but, but what if it did taste like food? I mean, would, would, would that be gay then? Like, if it tasted like a, a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> would, would that be gay? Yeah, because like if you're doing it for the flavor, not for... <laughs> if you're doing it for the flavor. <laughs> yep, that's gay. Why is it, No, not if it, if it tastes like pepperoni pizza and you're doing it because it tastes like pepperoni pizza, is that gay? <laughs> yes, yes. No, I, wait, I don't know. I, I disagree, don't know. I disagree sure. with you 100%. 100%. So would would you stick a piece of pepperoni pizza up your butt? Pizza? Like, just shove it up there? I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. If it tastes like pizza, and then you're like, stick that piece of pizza up my butt. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, wouldn't that be weird? I mean, you're, you're sucking on it. It tastes like pizza. And then... You're like, well, I want to take you're, it up the ass, but now, now it tastes like pizza. Do I want a piece of pizza up my ass? You're making, you know? you're making it sexual. <laughs> <laughs> you're sucking a dick. <laughs> but it tastes like pizza. <laughs> well, since when did sticking anything up your butt become sexual? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, then I'm gonna. I'll change the question. Then, do you like do you like pizza? Yes. If you if you were really hungry for pizza, but it tastes like dick, would you eat it? <laughs> how would I know? When, how would I know that it tastes like this pizza tastes like dick? Well, I mean, you take your first bite, and it's like, hmm, this tastes like balls. <laughs> this tastes like this tastes but, like sweaty balls. But you're really hungry for pizza. Would you continue eating it? No. Okay. That means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Solid logic. <laughs> I can't dispute I, that. I'm really I'm beginning to think you just don't like pizza. If you won't eat pizza that tastes like dick and you won't eat dick that tastes like pizza, something's gotta give. If you're a true fan of pizza, <laughs> something you're you're taking one of them. Straight to the face. <sighs> Why can't it be like fucking lasagna? <laughs> it like can. I I, I, just, I just picked a food at random. It. What What's your favorite food? Uh, I would say pork chops. Have you ever I put like a pork, pork chop up your butt? Yes. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> We're gonna have to take that out. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Whatever. I don't. I don't know. So make America great again. <laughs> no, no, no. That was well, that we're, was. We were talking about hookers. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You're 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 mixing everything all up. <laughs> make prostitutes great again. There you go. Anyway, that I'm okay with. Uh, I I didn't feel comfortable putting her name out here. Um, yeah, because I. <laughs> I don't know. If if you are listening to this one, you know who you are. I would like you to call our voicemail. Um. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, 508-974-4489. While you are getting railed from behind, I want you to... <laughs> Will you let me finish? Sorry. <laughs> I would like you... What, what do we want her to say? Just, I just, I just wanted to do an intro to the show. Right, you're listening to <laughs> Who's Right podcast with Doug and Anthony as she's taking it from behind. Yeah, it, that's all you got to say. And it's got to be hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I don't want it to be right when you first start. I want it to be sometime in the middle when you're wore out, <laughs> like your fourth or fifth guy of the day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this offensive to her? Is it, I hope this isn't offensive. Why would it be? I don't. I'm just. It sounded offensive when it came out of my mouth. No. No. Fuck. I. I think we. We. We both said prostitution should be legal. It's stupid that it's not. Absolutely. So, ideally, she's getting what fifteen, twenty people a day. I mean, that's. I. I don't know how much she makes per session, but I. I hope she's busy. I, at least 16 bucks. I, I hope that she's making enough that she can buy a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. 
How Yeah, I mean, do you think she has to get a part-time job during the day? Because I'm assuming her work is at night. Do you think she has to get, like, a day job? That would suck. <laughs> that would... I, I, got, I, got, I got fucking railed by 15 dudes last night, and I got to wake up early and go to work. Now I got to go, go work at the fucking gas station. <laughs> now I, I work at a fucking maid right. <laughs> so I'd like to know if there are any prostitutes who support Trump. You think that you think there are? Yeah. I you think so? Yeah, I assume there's I assume there's stupid prostitutes. Do uh, <laughs> you think that there's any prostitutes who are actually working their way through college? <laughs> Do you think that's just something that they say? I, I don't yes. I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Good answer. <laughs> all right. So anyway, I hope that um, she listens. I hope she calls the voicemail. And I hope that yes. she goes over to don'tbuythestuff.com and buys a t-shirt to support the show. Um, yes. And then I hope she sends us a picture of her in the shirt. And then I hope she sends us some pictures of her out of the shirt. And... <laughs> Actually, we can skip that whole shirt business. <laughs> <laughs> Just send us a picture of the shirt on the floor <laughs> behind you. <laughs> Any shirt will do. It doesn't even have to be ours. <laughs> All right. Thank you for taking the time to write us. I'm glad we can make you laugh. Um, remember, go buy a shirt. Um <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, well, fuck. Um, <laughs> you've got something on here that's marked, hey, let's argue. Why don't you bring that up so we can argue? I don't even know what this is. I, I I, so it. I was holding off on it because I didn't want to argue right now. Um, well, I do. No, because we, we got a couple of things to go to, and, and generally when we <laughs> when we argue, that's the end of the show. So All right. All right. Um. I'm going to read this real quick. It's called, I labeled it Fat Fucks Rejoice. I don't know if you read that or not, but. I, I did. <clears throat> All right. So KFC is famous for having phenomenal gravy. I'm sure that people drink the stuff straight every day. Yeah, I'm sure they do. But did <laughs> but they did they need to take it this far? KFC just released three cocktail recipes that use their gravy as an ingredient. So there's the Gravy Mary. Uh, vodka, an ounce of gravy, tomato juice, Tabasco, blah, blah, blah. The Southern Twist it uses bourbon, two full ounces of gravy, black pepper, and brown sugar. And Finger Licking Sour uses uh, mescaline? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know what that is, mezcal. Mezcal, over three ounces of gravy, cherry liquor, cherry liqueur, lemon juice, orange marmalade, and an egg white. <laughs> Fuck. Doesn't that make you just want to throw yeah. up? <laughs> so... You know, you know what that second one made me think of is a big fat Juliet Miranda. <laughs> so <laughs> get her to try it. <laughs> so if if so, we we talk about her all the time. She's a, a pretty fine looking piece of woman. <laughs> <laughs> fine looking piece of woman. <laughs> um, she's got the sweetest butthole I've never seen. <laughs> Anyway, she is a a hot storyteller. Is that is I think that's how her yeah. her podcast is uh, advertised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, the unwritable rant. But anyway, so she drinks a lot and she's got a problem. And <laughs> she drinks a lot. <laughs> that's a good way to advertise it. <laughs> so I, I wonder how many stories she would actually have if she didn't if she wasn't an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> the only story would be wish I had a drink right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the, here's the unwritable rant with Juliet Miranda. Had she never discovered alcohol? Well, I didn't do anything last night. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Stayed home. Stayed. <laughs> stayed home watching TV. <laughs> Man, I should start a podcast. <laughs> anyway, so so I I was thinking um, if she was to jump into the Southern Twist. And with her favorite bourbon, two ounces of KFC gravy. (laughs) (laughs) 
She would. Oh so, God. She would eventually, if she drank enough, though, she would look like me, just with. <laughs> is that how you got? It, where it you is. Are? It is shooting, shooting gravy. <laughs> so I, I, I was never to the point to where I would just drink gravy, but I just enough of anything, and and you start gaining weight. <laughs> Yes. But I'm wondering if her butthole would look so glorious if she looked like me. <laughs> or if she ate gravy. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> I don't like where this is heading. I think it already went there. <laughs> I don't know. What, <laughs> what else do you want? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I got, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Oh fuck! I, okay, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say to this. Can you walk into KFC and just say, I, "I need six ounces of gravy"? <laughs> That's it. Do you want chicken? Nope, just six ounces of gravy. Making some drinks tonight. Working on my butthole. <laughs> oh, who comes up with this dumb bullshit? I guarantee you, this is just a, a marketing ploy for. KFC, but still, who the fuck comes up with this? Do you like KFC gravy? Yeah. Okay. Right. Then what's the problem? I, there's no problem. I'm not going to consume it with alcohol out of a shot glass. Well, then you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I might try that. Yeah, I think you should. The one with the egg white for sure. Yeah. All right. Lemon juice, orange marmalade, and an egg white. <laughs> oh, God. I think KFC's trolling. <laughs> I think so, too. I, I already forgot. Who's our official meat supplier? Steakum. Um, Steakums. 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 It's emulsified. So <laughs> It's emulsified. We, we need to come up with a Steakum shot or a Steakum drink where you, you blend oh. you you blend the emulsified meat fat. <laughs> Yes, I yes I'm in. And then you you pour it down Juliet's butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's enough of that. I feel bad talking about her like that. No, you don't. Yeah, she she probably don't even like steakums. <laughs> That's yeah. That's the problem. She doesn't like steakums. That's 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 the main thing we take away from this. She doesn't like steakums. All right. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done talking about her. All right. Uh. Fuck. Fine. Fuck it. Let's get into this. <laughs> fuck it. Let's fuck. get into this. How, how long we've been going? Forty two minutes. Yeah, we can wrap it up here. All right. <laughs> So, uh, borrow five thousand dollars, repay forty. You know what? Before I get into this, we had borrow. God damn it! All right, I'm getting mad here. Why? Well, cause I'm gonna call somebody out here real quick. So, hmm. okay. Um, it's gonna be a little bit because I gotta find her fucking name. But okay, I, well, you're kind of leaving me hanging. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, here. our 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 new T-shirt supplier. Um, don't buy this stuff.com was was yes. nice enough to sponsor a giveaway and somebody won the shirt and he sent the shirt yeah. and of course he, yeah. he put tracking on the shirt so and this was just out of the kindness of his heart he he sure gave a shirt away and this fucking person won the shirt and then never even so much as said thank you or anything here she is Carly Kingsley Pff, sounds like a bitch <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, on behalf of Carly Kingsley, um, I appreciate you taking the time to get your free shirt and taking a picture and tweeting it out, or just acknowledging the fact that somebody was nice enough to fucking give you something. Uh, right. I don't know if she's white or Mexican. I can't tell from her picture, but that is white privilege it's at least black <laughs> I, I don't i don't know if she's white but that's white privilege <laughs> yes why you gotta bring race into everything because this is a clear-cut case of her thinking that she is owed this 
She is owed this fucking shirt. This guy got Jasmine Kane. He did, and that, that's where I was headed with this. <laughs> the only people that keep fucking us over are white-looking women. <laughs> the white women. <laughs> awesome. I think we should boycott all white women. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes. How do we do that? Um, I think we just make a declaration right here, right now, that we're going to boycott white women forever. All right. Proclamation is being made. <laughs> <laughs> I am that was it that's that's it uh what's that guy's name little orphan angry on twitter yeah God, oh, oh, yeah, yeah please yeah. tell me who you are there <laughs> <laughs> please please we won't tell anybody I just want to know who you are <laughs> if you would little orphan angry I am I am asking you whoever you are he he's like uh so those of you that don't pay attention to us on twitter he's uh somebody that listens to the show and I don't know if it's coincidence or what, but it, I feel like he attacks people that we are attacking at the same time. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it, it's got to be somebody that we know. I mean, it has to, right? But, but, okay, mean, so so whoever you are, I am a fan of you. I am asking you to please. It's, it's at K-A-R-L-Y-K-I-N-G-S-L-E-Y, Carly Kingsley. Please see if you can get a hold of her and find out why. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to have other people do your dirty work. I see how it is. No, but yeah, please do that. <laughs> I don't. I don't look at this as being dirty at all. She she did us dirty, and she did and she did our sponsor dirty. He was nice enough to give yeah. a fucking shirt out of, out of his own. I don't know if it was whatever. Like he's got a stockpile of shirts in his fucking basement. I don't know how the fuck he operates, but <laughs> he at least went through the trouble of sending her something. And the least she could have right. done is just say. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. That's how, that's all it takes. It's, you know, not that difficult. <laughs> Meanwhile, he sent me like four shirts and I have yet to take a picture or anything. <laughs> what a dick. Did you? I They're in the dryer. I guess as soon as they're out of the dryer, I'm going to fucking do it. I was going to do it today. Anthony, that, I'm gonna send, Anthony, what? you sent me a message last night that said you're going to take pictures as soon as your shirts get out of the dryer. Yes. How long yeah, is your, I, how I, long I, is your I dryer even, cycle? I hadn't even put them in yet. <laughs> I hung them. I hung them outside to dry, but it's cold outside, so now they're frozen. <laughs> Are you serious? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm serious. Hey, you got a fucking worm farm over there. I don't know what else you're up to. <laughs> I don't know what else you're up to. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna start up the worm farm again this year. I think. <laughs> you know what? We, Spe- speaking of yeah, that, yeah, we can we can bring people up to speed on this. So, two three years ago, Anthony decided he was gonna start creating his own compost. Um, so he sent away for a bunch of fucking worms. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's not, I'm not, that's not even, you're laughing, but that's not even Yeah, a joke. I'm not making anything up. Um, <laughs> they came in the mail in a big bag and then you built a box, right? <laughs> and yes. it, it was like a month later. I'm like, Hey, so what's going on with your, your compost factory in your garage? Well, I really <laughs> haven't been out there a whole bunch. So our garbage is building up. <laughs> and then, and then like two months after that, Anthony, what's going on? Uh, all the worms are dead. <laughs> so it was more than two months. It's, it's like you're, it's like you're Hitler and you hate worms. <laughs> it's the Holocaust. <laughs> Fuck the worms. <laughs> you bring them, you bring them all into your little fucking. All right, I want you guys to sit here and concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as smart as I thought I was. I put it all I put it all together. I read a bunch of shit. There we go. I put it all together the way that I was supposed to, I thought. And all of a sudden, instead of dirt, it was filled with mud, <laughs> like water, and all the worms drowned. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to dry out. Wasn't that worm shit? <sighs> yes, but you you have to have plenty of drainage more than I had, I guess to drain away the liquid. Otherwise they just drown in their own shit. (laughs) So I ended up with muddy dead worms. I'll I'll start it again this, this year though. I'm going to do mushrooms too. So maybe I can use the two together. I don't mean I'm going to do mushrooms. Like I'm going to get high. (laughs) I mean, I'm going to grow mushrooms. (laughs) All right, yeah. So you, you, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I think you probably have an idea how it'll go. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm just looking forward to seeing this uh, version 2.0 of your worm concentration camp. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you, out there with a little fucking like a wood burner or magic marker or some shit, putting little numbers on your worms. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the day that I the day that I say, you know what? Dad, growing worms is a stupid idea. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to shoot myself in the face because that's the kind of person that I am. I'm going to keep doing dumb shit that I think is cool, and that's the way it works. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, we're going to argue. Here we go. I don't even know how we got fucking derailed talking about your worms. What? Say it again. Hello. God damn it. Hello, are you there? I am now. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Fuck. I, all of a sudden, there was a big, long silence. <laughs> all right. Fuck it. Let's, all right. Here we go. Yeah. We'll cut that. We'll cut that. Don't out. worry about it. <laughs> all right. So here's the. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. Here's the header. Borrow $5,000, repay 42000 How super high interest loans have boomed in California. Joanne Hess. Hess are, can you hear me? Over. Yeah. Over. <laughs> Joanne Hessen, sick with diabetes for years, was desperate. After medical bills for a leg amputation and kidney transplant wiped out most of her retirement nest egg, she found that her Social Security and small pension weren't enough to make ends meet. As the Marine Corps veteran waited for approval for special pension from the Department of Veterans Affairs, she racked up debt with a series of increasingly pricey online loans. In May 2015, the Rancho Cucamondo, nope, Rancho Santa Margarita <laughs> resident borrowed $5,125 from Anaheim lender Loan Me at the eye-popping annual interest rate of 116%. The, the following month, she borrowed $2,501 from Ohio firm Cash Central at an even higher APR, 183%. I don't consider myself a dumb person, said Heston, 68. I knew the rates were high, but I did I did it out of desperation. All right. I'm jumping down here. Heston's $5,125 loan was scheduled to be repaid over more than seven years with, four, oh. with $495 due monthly for a total of $42,099.85. That's nearly $37,000 in interest. All right, so... Uh, one quote here access to credit of this kind is like giving starving people poisoned food all right so i read all that and i wanted to ask you one question yeah do you think that high interest loans should be banned or illegal or taken away absolutely all right i knew you were gonna say that you fuck (laughs) (laughs) and i knew you were gonna argue against it (laughs) this this quote Sums it up exactly. Access to credit of this kind is like giving starving people poisoned food. I couldn't have said it better myself. I don't doubt that one bit, but that doesn't help your argument. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's why it's not like that. All right. If you were to, if somebody's starving and you have food yeah. and you say, "Listen, this food is poisoned, and in the long term, it's going to kill you," you give them yeah. the option to eat that food. You don't yeah. trick them into eating. Um poison food you don't tell them that it's healthy food and it turns out to be poison you tell them that right so for instance if somebody is starving and you give them mcdonald's yes mcdonald's food is not good for you right 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 do you still give it to them do you give them the option or do you just get yes okay so with, with this loan, why would you think it's a good idea to ban it? Why not give people the option? So so you're comparing <clears throat> just just forget it. It was a bad analogy. You went on the on the food thing. Um, <laughs> that was easy. That, that yeah, was easy. I, I I started going down the road. I'm like, it's not like you're gonna die if you eat one burger. <laughs> exactly. Um, but so you take this loan. Why do you think you should take away people's ability to make their own choice and get the government involved to decide what is best for people? Because there is so much more at play than just, I'm going to go and make this one choice right now. If you are absolutely desperate, you you don't have a choice. There's no choice when you get to a point where that's why this... Um, that's why this quote makes so much sense because if you're starving to death, it's not your choice to eat poison food or not eat poison food. You're going to die either way, right? There's no choice. You're, you're talking about choice that doesn't exist. So you do have a choice with this loan. 
you can take the loan and instead of paying the minimum monthly payment over the course of seven years, you can you can suck it up and make bigger payments and get it paid down with money that you don't have. Then don't take the fucking loan. But you you shouldn't then live on the streets. Then live on the streets. Then okay. So yeah, if that's your, if I, I I don't I don't understand what what's the how is this a good thing for anybody? I didn't say it was good. I said giving people the option is good for for you to come in and decide how. Okay. For, mm. No, go ahead. No, but. So you go back and forth so much on should the government be involved or shouldn't the government be involved? And it's, are these high interest loans a good thing? Absolutely not. No. That wasn't a question to you. That was. (laughs) Okay. No. (laughs) So, yeah, you're right. I do go back and forth on should the government be involved or should the government not be involved because there are things they should be involved in and things they shouldn't be involved in. What's wrong with that? Okay. What's wrong with thinking things through instead of just saying a blanket statement, no, the government shouldn't be involved. Should heroin be legal? Mm. Yes. (laughs) Why? Why? Why should heroin be legal and high interest loans not be? (laughs) Go. There's a <laughs> there's a benefit to heroin. <laughs> Is it a short term benefit? Yes. Kind of like a high interest loan. There's no benefit. There is. You get to pay your bills that month. You so you get to pay your bills. That means somebody else gets their money. How does that benefit you? If it buys you another X amount of months in a house, right? I'm sure. You're trapped here, right? You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I still feel I still feel both ways. This should be illegal, and heroin should be legal. So I can't explain to you why I feel that way, but I do. As long as you, it's, it, com- it's a it's a complex issue. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It's not. That there's you your your way of thinking is that the government should stay out of everything, right? No. No, I don't think the government should stay out of everything. Where do you draw the line then? Um, so I can I don't know exactly where I draw the line, but I know that heroin and high interest loans are on opposite sides of it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to put this conversation on hold. All right, we, we'll, we'll shelf this and come back after you do some research. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not research. I have to take a fucking shit. <laughs> now it's my turn. So I got to go. I'll be back. You can hold on a minute. (laughs) All right. You back? Yeah. (laughs) Sorry about that. It was either happening there or in here. (laughs) No, I can relate. All right. So I had some time to do some research. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) Not really. So... Here's what I think. I think that heroin should be legal. I think that heroin is a choice that somebody can make on their own. There's nobody out there pushing people to do heroin for their own benefit. For As far as a super high interest loan, those are predatory. There are people pushing those loans for their own benefit. To- two totally different things. All right. So I have never, ever been walking down the street or in a bar. And had somebody come up and say, Psst, hey, can I interest you in a high interest loan? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been walking down the yes, street and said, yes. Psst, hey, can I interest you in some heroin? I, I have been offered heroin before. <laughs> offered heroin is totally different than uh, you're uh, you're conflating two things that are not the same. What the fuck is conflating? Comparing, making making assumptions about two things that are not the same. Okay. Of, of course, they're not the same. But your logic doesn't make sense at all. It does. <laughs> what? So where where should we draw the line then? Where where should the government be involved and the government not be involved? Any line that you draw is not going to be make logical sense. No, it, it could. But um, if if you are for legalizing heroin, yes, and a and then for banning loans, you're wrong. No, not not loans. I didn't say loans. High interest, super high interest predatory loans. Yes, I'm for banning that. You are taking so where's super high of interest at the 
the most the most vulnerable people. So where is super high interest at? Where do you draw the line? I I don't have that answer right off the top of my head. Okay. I don't know. Okay. It, it would it would take it would take research. And I mean, it, it's not like I'm not like a policymaker sitting here saying well, it should be at 13. percent I don't I don't have those numbers. That's not. This isn't that kind of debate. <laughs> that that is, that that's exactly the debate you gave me. You asked me where you draw the line at. So I just turned your question back on you, and you're like, "That's not this kind of debate." <laughs> no, no. I'm talking. You were talking about one specific issue. Where do you draw the line? I'm talking about where do you draw the line as far as government intervention goes. Where where would you draw the line? For loans, I wouldn't. For, oh my god! So anybody can. Oh my god! I'm talking about government intervention in anything. Where would you draw the line? Right over there. What? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> per- That's where I would draw it too. <laughs> I think we're pointing in the different directions, though. You have been brainwashed oh, fuck to it. think that. Yeah, I'm the one that's brainwashed. Any, any government regulation is communism. So, socialism, communism, whatever. No, I haven't. I just i I didn't say I want the government out of everything. Where, where do you draw the line? Over there. Well, I don't understand what the problem is with that answer. Where do I draw the line? <laughs> what, so what's okay for the government to regulate and what's not? Uh, I am for the government. Okay, so so state government or federal government? Let's go federal. Uh, federal income taxes. Oh, okay, let, let's go state then. Okay, everything everything could be regulated by the state, right? Isn't it set up that way? Yeah. Okay. I mean, basically. So for companies to dump shit into the rivers, am I for that? No. Should it be regulated? Yes. Um, okay. Next. Well, I, I, abortion. I don't think that should be on a state-by-state basis. I think that, well, I don't know. Should it? Fuck, I don't, I don't know that I could. <laughs> Oh, so now when it's your argument, I don't know that I care. Let's not talk about that because I don't care. No, I, I don't care. I don't care if it's regulated by the state or the federal government. I don't care. I'm never going to get an you abortion. Just, you just want it. You just want it regulated. No, I'm never going to get an abortion. So I don't care. I, I don't care. Are you going to get a high interest loan? Ah, fuck, it's hard telling with the way this job's going. <laughs> get back. Get back to me in a month. So you think that that is completely acceptable for people to to take a a five thousand dollar loan and pay thirty seven thousand dollars in interest? No, I think you should make a little higher monthly payments and get that knocked down to thirty two thousand. <laughs> I I, I think I'm, th- I'm being serious. I'm being serious too. I think that if you don't pay your bills, you get put in a position to where you only have high interest loans, right? So people are taking a chance by loaning you money because you have shitty credit. And in order for that, hold on, you asked me a fucking question, so shut the fuck up. (laughs) I didn't even say anything, Jack. You you started breathing funny. (laughs) (laughs) That's just the way I breathe. (laughs) So when, when, when you have a history of not paying back your loans and then you go to somebody and ask for money, they're taking a chance on you. And or and yes. so, with that comes high interest. So you're under the impression that the only reason that anybody would ever get a high interest loan is because they were bad with their bills and and didn't pay their bills. It's it's some fault of their own. Hmm. So I'm sure there's probably a case or two out there, but for the majority, yes. <laughs> you don't think that people are just stupid and being taken then advantage. that's their own fucking fault survival of the fittest baby <laughs> so then how does that reconcile with you not wanting people to dump shit in the river it's it's the same thing survival of the fittest i'm gonna make whatever i need to make and and in order to make that to sell it to you cheap i need to dump this in the river well too bad survival of the fittest you're right i know no no i'm we should start dumping <laughs> shit in the river if we get <laughs> if I can get if, if can, I can get if you can get a nickel off your iPhone, yeah, if I can get my next phone cheaper, river. Or, or if it'll bring down my monthly sprint payment, I am okay with them dumping cellulars into the river. All right, everybody. Uh, it, lo- it looks like <laughs> I, we're, I, it looks like I think that's going to be. Looks it. like we're done here. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, head over to don'tbuythisstuff.com. Check out some of our shirts. 
Uh, go to our Patreon. Give us money for nothing. Um, <laughs> bye. Is your labia hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) Fuck you.